Welcome to this special interview, Beyond NHS Dentures, surprising facts about your denture crisis. I'm Tony Gedge and I work with dentists from all over the world who change lives through natural, comfortable looking dentures. And also, I've got a special interview with you on two dentists who build revolutionary, comfortable, natural looking dentures, and also to exposure about their uncommon customer service. So. Here is Sandeep and Deepak from Confidential, the home of calm and caring dentistry. How are we doing, guys? Good, thank you, Tony. How are you? Yep, I'm absolutely fabulous. Thank you for asking. So, just tell us a little bit about who you are, because if we're to trust you, we need to know who you are rather than what you are. Sure, yeah. So, I'm Sandeep. I've been at Confidential for the last six to seven years. Um, I'm married with uh, two children, to Anita. Uh, like doing general dentistry alongside implant dentistry, helping our patients out. And uh, when I'm not working, I like to get involved in you know having fun, going to the gym, and going out with the kids. Really fabulous. And uh, Deepak, tell us a little bit about yourself. Hi, I'm Deepak. I've been here for five years. Um, I've done quite a few studies in different universities just trying to get my skills up to the level that I really wanted to be. I love dentistry, I love helping people, serving people. Um, I'm married with one little baby girl called Naina. She's seven months old at the moment. Um, <laughs> I love doing the run in the middle of dentistry as well as trying to specialize in trying to um, help people with their dentures as well as uh, root canals and fillings. That's what I mainly do. Yeah. So to you two brothers, uh, yes, it's a family business. Yes. And uh, Sandy, tell us, um, are you married? Have you got children? Yes, married. Uh, married to Anita. Been married for seven or eight years now. And uh, two children, my sons Aaron and my daughter Serena. And uh, Aaron is four years old, Serena is two years old. So as you can imagine, hands are full with them. Absolutely. Busy. Yes. So tell us then about dentures stopping people from eating out in public? Yes, so we have uh, quite a lot of people who have uh, dentures and uh, what, they, what we find is that a lot of them use polygrip just to hold their dentures in. They find that it's very tiresome, you know, it's not as, it's not as good fit as they would like and what we're finding is that more and more people are saying, I need to go out and socialise, these are the best years of my life, can you do something for us? And um, Deepak, is it is embarrassment, you know, to, um, is it part of the natural aging process that we have to wear dentures? Our, our teeth are designed to last for, for life and unfortunately, uh, due to circumstances, people lose their teeth and we're helped to make sure they restore um, their confidence. Mm -hmm. No one wants their dentures or teeth falling out when they're having uh, food or a meal um, with family or friends. Very embarrassing. Um, we're here to provide the, the best service so that we can get them back to how they had their teeth before. Uh, either fixed teeth or uh, strong teeth uh, held in without the glues and, and sticks that you can buy from online. Something that gives, their, gives them their confidence back. Now Sandeep, it's not just, yes we, we want natural looking and comfortable uh, dentures. Obviously I'll, I'll talk about my mother in, in a second who's had dentures all her life. And but it's not just about that, it's about the uh, the eating properly. Tell us what dentures don't allow us to do with food. Yeah, so if, you, if you've got dentures which are ill-fitting, you can't eat the foods that you like, uh, you know, the dentures are rubbing, you can't eat things like steak, you can't eat the protein, you can't eat the other foods that are rich in energy, and, and you lose a lot of enjoyment and it makes you fatigued. And we find a lot of patients coming in and they're saying, I just can't eat what I should be eating and I'm, I'm just not feeling as good as I should. So, is are uncomfortable, do we have to pull up with uncomfortable dentures or is there a new solution? Not at all. I mean, uh, previously in the NHS, they used to, you know, they used to pay for pulling teeth out and a lot of people have been left without teeth. But now we can get you fixed teeth, comfortable teeth that will, you know, transform your life. Now, there's not just for, uh, as we've mentioned earlier, the, the, with my mother, for example, she's um, nearly 70 and she's had bottom and top dentures all her life since she was 18 
and she thought that she never had to go to the dentist ever again because she didn't have any oh, yeah. teeth. And unfortunately, my mother got mouth cancer. And she, she didn't go to the dentist. So why is it important for, for denture wearers to get regular checkups? Well, there's um, part of our routine assessments are to check for mouth cancer. Um, and so it's important to make sure that the dentures are fitting well over your lifespan. Once your dentures are made, the plastic stays exactly the same as it is to start with, but your body always changes. And those changes are things that we need to assess on a yearly basis as a minimum. Yes, say. yeah, I agree. Um, so and mouth cancer can, can occur any time, especially um, over the age of 40 or 50. Um, and so the dentist or the dental team will always be checking to make sure that any signs of cancer are picked up early and referred appropriately. Now, unfortunately, with uh, with mouth cancer, the, the 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 majority of mouth cancer is caused through smoking yes. and through bad uh, diet uh, as well. But it, it, unfortunately, it's a bit bit of a catch twenty two. If you do smoke, then you chances are that your diet is not as good, mm. so you, that reduces the chance of mouth cancer. If you drink brown spirits, for example, and you smoke and you've got a poor diet, which usually they all come together, mm. then unfortunately mouth cancer increases. And not a lot of people know that five a day die in the UK from mouth cancer. Mm. So, you know, denture wearers are susceptible um, just as anybody else as well. So. If there's one thing that you take away from this, uh, listening to this uh, interview or watching this uh, video, for example, then just go and get an annual checkup, even if you wear uh, dentures. Okay, so jumping on with something more happier. So tell us then, what are the benefits of comfortable, natural looking dentures, guys? Well, there's loads of benefits. I think one of them is you can go out socially, you can be comfortable eating, smiling with your friends and family. You can have soothing, you know, full-time comfort. Uh, no ill-fitting dentures, no ill-fitting discomfort from, from anything. It gives you a lifetime of having healthy eating, more energy, and help you speak more clearly too. And um, it, it makes you avoid having dentures which look like, you know, they, they belong to somebody else. We will custom make them for you and make sure they fit them out and your appearance. Now tell us about uh, dentures, because what happens is when, when we have dentures we lose our bone in our jaw and the bottom third of our face drops mm -hmm. and when you get natural comfortable looking dentures it's like a facelift, it pushes your face up again. Tell us about that. Um, yeah, so good dentures support the muscles and if you're supporting the muscles you're going to have an uplift and a nice youthful appearance alongside that which is going to give you you know completely transform the way you look okay so so, so it's like a, a dentures lift the face muscles then now here's an interesting fact four million britons are trying to keep their dentures in place with adhesives this minute and the entire denture, denture profession is failing them miserably just tell us about your thoughts around that Go on, you can do that. Uh, so denture retention is thought to be a problem for about 35% of denture wearers. And as such, there's estimated about 4 million individuals in the UK who regularly use an adhesive to keep their dentures in place. That's the door for the dental care. So uh, there's a lot of people that we can help. And my mother's had um, piano uh, teeth um, all her life that, you know, they, they, just, they, they just don't look like the, the hers. You, you refuse to make those type of um, dentures? Oh yes, I mean we, we use individual teeth, teeth that are going to match your appearance, teeth that are going to match your lips and uh, just get you natural comfortable looking dentures. So you do, you add what you call character to teeth, you've got lots of different teeth <laughs> as well, tell us yeah. about that. And we try to preserve your character as well, we normally ask you to bring a, a picture of what your teeth looked like when they were younger to match them because what you were given is generally what fits you best um, and trying to find the same shape 
uh, or trying to pick the same sh tooth shape that you had before is normally the best way forward to make it look as natural as possible. So everything's customized. Everything's customized. Now, you've got six tips on how to get comfortable, natural looking dentures. Yes. Tell us what those are. So, number one is to sit down, uh, look at where you are, look at what you want, and how you feel about wearing your dentures. You know, do you want nat new, natural looking? Do you want them comfortable? What, what sort of things are you looking for? Bring some photos of your original smile so we can see how your teeth used to sit in your mouth and we'll try and say, look, were you happy with that or not? And can we, can we replicate that for you? Invite someone to come with you, maybe friend, family, so that you can, you can have a dress rehearsal of your teeth and say, oh, these are what my teeth will look like. Am I happy with them? Am I not? And tell us what you don't like. If, you do, if there's something you don't like with the existing teeth, the existing uh, dentures, tell us and we can help you know, find you alternatives that will suit you a lot better. And let us know your fears, frustrations and call and concerns so we can address those and, and work with you. And what you don't like about your existing dentures, we really want to know about that. So we can make sure we don't make mistakes that other people might have had or, or find give you a solution that you might not like. Now also the, the, there is another option and you're legally bound to give patients all the options about uh, dentures. Yeah. So this is an option which we won't go too deep into, but these days you can have implants that fix dentures on to, uh, into, your, into your jaw. Tell us about that. Yeah, most definitely. I mean, what we, what we think about implants are artificial roots. So the same way you have an artificial hip, you have artificial roots made out of titanium, and those get placed into your jawbone, and then on top of that, you get dentures that clip on, so they don't move around. You know, they're fixed to you to your bone, and they act just they're the closest replacement we can give you to natural teeth. And you can also do um, implants, uh, Deepak, um, you, to Sandeep. You you place the implant, and uh, Deepak, you put a crown on top of that. Tell us about that. Well, we believe in a in a team approach, and. Uh, I'm the surgical guy, so I like doing the surgery aspects and Deepak, the restorative guy, he, he likes building people's teeth up and making them look like they should. So as a team effort, we work together to make sure that we deliver the best results we can. Fabulous. So to, you've got a guarantee. Tell us about your guarantee and everyone loves a guarantee. Yeah, so I guarantee that your dentist will look realistic, not tomb-like or stone-like teeth uh, or even horse's mouth or piano teeth. I guarantee that other people won't know that you're wearing a denture, unless of course you want to look like you're wearing a And tell us then about what happens when, when somebody comes in, what are the seven stages? <coughs> uh, so the first, first appointment we normally check to see, um, we give a report on, on what we find on, on your first appointment to see what's going on and, and see if, you're, see, if, see if it's suitable for the comfortable and natural looking dentures. So that's the first appointment. And the second one? Yeah, so we take pain-free, gag-free impressions. We can even use the existing dentures sometimes, which are, you know, the most comfortable that you can have. And you can select your individual teeth, tell us, you know, color, shape, size, what you would, what you think is going to suit you. And then we've also got our nurse and any friend that you bring along with you. And you can show you photos and uh, and then even say, look, I'd like to replicate what someone like Madonna had or Terry Thomas. Uh, on the third appointment, we check, uh, take the final moles and final copies of your of your gums and record how your teeth meet together. And we every stage we check, uh, make sure, making sure that you're happy with how the progression is going. So you've got full input in exactly how you want your dentures made, looking and designed and, and feeling. And we can make any corrections there and there. Yeah, so then after that we go to a trial fit and this is your dress rehearsal. You confirm the position, the colour and the shape of the natural you know, teeth and uh, we fine tune any, any bits that we want to give you comfortable and attractive teeth. And uh, this is when we say, look, bring someone along and uh, make an informed decision to make sure you your teeth that don't end up in the door. Um, on the fifth appointment, which is seven days later normally, um, you, we will fit you your dentures. Um, we'll show you what they look like. We'll make any adjustments that may, may, need to be made, uh, making sure they're as natural, as comfortable as possible as soon as you leave here. And we're not letting you leave here without that. 
and uh, for us to make sure you're getting on with them, okay, we even say, look, come back in two days' time and uh, we can do any minor adjustments or, or, you know, give you a report on how things are, how things are faring up. And, and on the final appointment, it's do you, you can go ahead and, and start eating the foods that you, you really want to eat, um, the steak, the food, anything. Good. Good. We'll even give you a free steak meal to let you go out and test drive your, your new teeth. And, and that's with uh, implants. So if you've had implants, you do the chew the steak challenge guarantee. You're right, yeah. So if you've had implants and you've got teeth which are firmly held in place, we say, look, go out and give them a test run and, and give us a report afterwards. Helps it. Well, most of the time it's all, always positive. Now, you also have, as we mentioned at the beginning, extreme customer service. You've got, you promise things to patients about your customer service. Can you talk to that? Okay. Um, so the first appointment, you meet us, our, us, our team, our nurses. We, we try to get as much information as we can out of you in terms of what you're unhappy about with your teeth, with your smile. Um, we take pictures of your gums and your teeth and show you what's going on and what we can see uh, as an outside perspective. And we discuss to see what the concerns really, really are. Um, we assess your your dentures, making sure we check to see what's wrong with the existing pair. If there's any cracks or breaks or broken teeth or the colours wrong, making sure that we're taking as much information from there. Um, the next appointment after that you have is for a full thorough checkup, and it's a pain-free assessment where we check your gums, cancer check, tooth check, gum check, and, and we go from there. And then after that we explain the options and uh, say, look, these are this, these are the options you have and uh, these are the things that we can and can't do and uh, help you find something that suits for you. Uh, it's normally £97, but it's free today. Now, to, to your to 50 years old this year. Well, not, not me personally, but... <laughs> <laughs> no laughter lines yet. <laughs> so tell us about your celebrating 50 years from 1965. Yeah, so the practice has been there since 1965 and it's been serving the local community since then. Uh, we had a celebration for our 50th anniversary. We had the mayor come down. We've installed a recycled plastic bench uh, out in our front garden so our patients and our customers and uh, local community can enjoy it, have a sandwich on there and, um, and uh, enjoy the view. Okay, so um, you've got, you also, in your unusual that you've, you have uh, values that you all work towards within the practice. Can you tell us about your values? Yeah, we, we, we've got four main values. Number one is to be uh, hardworking as a team to make sure we deliver the best results. Number two is to do the right thing. So if we feel that, you know, there's some there's options that we have, we always say that this is the right thing to do for you. This is what we feel is, you know, is the most appropriate. It's not just for our patients, it's the right thing for our team as well to make sure that you know, we take care of each other and, and we're here to deliver the best results. Uh, do you like the other two, can you remember? Um, we always respect you as an individual, we always treat you as a family. So if we're treating you, just think of it as treating our, our relative or our, our friend. We're not going to do anything wrong by you. Um, yeah. And just tell us then about your calm and caring dentistry. Yeah, so we, we've got an approach where dentistry is dentistry, not everybody likes it. And uh, we're here to say, look, we're different. We can promise you calm and caring dentistry. And we've even, had, we've even done surveys on our patients to say, look, how calm and caring were us. And uh, one of the, one nice statistic that we like to you know, bring up is to say that 93% uh, of our patients who were surveyed over a three month period said that their visit was completely pain free. Wow. That is um, incredible. So, to, in 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 summary, then, what what's the future hold for dental wearers? Well, we'd like to give you teeth which you can eat out in public, enjoy with your family, make your teeth and dentures comfortably, natural looking, and uh, end your denture crisis. You don't have to wait; you can start right now. And uh, give us the uh, telephone number we can ring. Yeah, it's 01252-877-309. And just repeat that again for people like me. 01252-877-309. Great stuff. Well, listen, uh, guys, thank you for, for joining us on this interview. This is going out as well, by the way, to 
dentists around the world because they're going to be watching this to learn from the unusual uh, approach that you take to ending people's denture crisis. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Danny. Thank you.